so going to look at customization now. Um, really, that's just a, a basic thing of ensuring that the blog is not called my blog, for example, that you've customized the name and the, the other options that might be available as part of your um, a part of your theme. So if we go back to the dashboard and we go to appearance, you can see that um, immediately under themes is customize and that's where you can do various things and the most significant thing to customize from the start is the site identity. So we don't want uh, we don't want a load of sites called my blog. So in this case, I'm going to call it. You can call it whatever you like. It doesn't have to be your name. Um, so Chris your site, um, and the tagline uh, design stuff. Yeah, should really have a cap D and a cap S. And then I can choose a site icon so I can upload something that I've designed for myself, which will be, then become the site icon. Not going to bother with that just at the moment, but I'm going to just click publish and you'll be able to see that it's uh, Chris Neal's site uh, with the strap line uh, design stuff. Uh, and that gives it just that sort of slightly more professional feeling than the than my WordPress blog or, or whatever. Now there's not a lot of point in me going through the other things that are associated with the customization options um, here because unless you're dealing with this specific uh, theme um, they might be very different but you've got um, options for uh, customizing colors that you use um, you've got uh, options for your menus, all the different widgets that you're using. These are the ones that are already embedded in this particular theme. So you've got a search widget, a recent post, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. If you remember, meta is things like your admin login. Then you've got the home page settings, which are important because probably what you'll want to do is to change um, from a home page, which is basically just your latest post like this, to once you've got a static page, you can select, for example, the About Me page as the, uh, as the home page. And that will, again, give you a slightly more professional um, look to your, to your site. Um, and then this is uh, additional CSS. You won't be getting involved in that. That's for if you are familiar with uh, cascading style sheets and HTML5 and things like that. That's where you can uh, make those changes. Now, just remember that uh, this is specific to this particular theme. And the options, probably you will have many more options. Most themes would offer many more customization options. These very basic default themes tend to stay very simple, um, but we're not really getting into the um, the visual design of, of, of the stuff at the moment. So um, there we are. That's the critical bits of customization, which is really just giving the, yourself the site identity and setting your home page. Uh, the rest probably you can leave uh, as it is most most case most cases. Okay, thank you.